All right. Got me jigging set up here, 120 gram jig, about 60 meters of water, and we're coming up on the mark pretty fast, apparently. Get back down there. Can. There we go. I'm in there. You in? I'm down there. Well, I'm not far. Oh, balls. Bending. Why am I hearing drag bowling? Well, mine really. Oh, oh. that's it's good. It's Come working out. It's good fish, man. That's doing red things, eh? Bolly, don't you let him get down there. I can see you fighting him. He's come off that top little ridge. Still fighting? Practically first drop in there. Yeah. Thought it was a bit weird. My jig, um, I was watching the line sink and it just stopped sinking. You know? All colour. You got colour? Oh, what? Hey! That hey, money. that's what you want to see. Beautiful. That is, Woo. that's how, that's how you catch fish. You just <laughs> drive over spots. <laughs> hey, nice. take that. It's a bloody, lovely nana guy. <sighs> he's got his eyes popped out. He's got a bit of baritrauma going on, but he's coming home with us anyway. So no dramas. There we go. Practically. First drop in there. I'm working the jig probably only in the bottom bottom few meters on the sink back down while that's fluttering down. Absolutely whacked it. And now we have ourselves lovely largemouth nana guy. One of the tastiest fish going. So he's coming in the esky and then we'll probably go back up, set another drift. There we go, how about that? Good bloody start to the day. Now we'll come out with my good friend again, um, Matthew, aka Plage Pursuit. I'll leave his link down in the description below. But We've come out pretty far, it's like, what is it, 70, 80 k's out here. Fish 80 k's, and we're fishing 60 meters of water. So, a bit out of the comfort zone for me, but it's because it's been, ooh, it's been a good seven months, I think, since I've been this wide. So, pretty exciting. First drift, really, over the spot that literally Matt just scanned up as we were pulling into another one of his marks. And um, largemouth nana guy, which is pretty much top tier of the things you want to you know catch and eat from out here so between largemouth red emperor coral trout that'll probably be the three species we're looking to probably catch on the jig today but there's so many different species out here i'm not going to waste any more time we get the jig back down there see what else is going on There we go. Another one? On the sink back down. Another good oh. fish dog. Is he in there then? Nah. Come on. <laughs> oh. No. Jeez, that's good. Yeah. Thumb on spool. Oh, come on. Don't want to let him get you on the bottom. few cranks now. Woo. Oh. No way. Oh my god. This is big man. Oh jeez. Oh. oh. Oh no. Oh wow. Woo. I think I've won on mine. I'm not winning anything here. Straight back over the same mark, drop down, working the jig for maybe 30 seconds if that. What's happening, Bowles? How's the new spot? <laughs> Getting nibbed, mate. 
can't complain. Or I just pull up and drop a jig down, man. I don't really have to do anything, it's mint. I should be getting, oh, I just got some color. Balls. Another one. That's a big one, man. Woo! Oh, it's better than the last one. Oh my God. I'll lead him around. What have I got? Surely. I feel like I've got a cod. You reckon? You are the cod master. I am cod master. People think it's you, but... You're the big cod master. Um, yeah, I'm like... <laughs> You're definitely... I'm the estuary cod master. Yeah, estuaran. You're the... I'm the blue speck master. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. That is one of the prettiest ones I think I've ever caught. Look at the pinks on him. Oh, ow, ow. Fingers in the death zone. Oh, is it? Hold it high. Ow. Very coddly. And there we go. It's another lovely largemouth down guy on the jig. We did one dummy drift at the start. Uh, so we could work out which way we're drifting and then Matt's put us straight over the mark two times two absolutely beautiful fish and Fortunately Matt drew the Matt drew the short straw which usually it happens to the best of us, you know yeah. <laughs> But yeah, he's going in the esky as well and then just set up another drift It's just that easy balls. Yeah, you know, it's not really it's just amazing when it all comes together it Makes it easier when you've got Good skipper like Matt who can put you on the fish. I just have to know how to work a jig and fight a fish. All right, we just set up drift number three. Get me up the current a bit. Go. It's so hard to tell. Like, what is going on? Oh. Jeez, I saw that. Oh, Lovely. No big runs at the start. Possible good sign. Could be something tasty. Surely we're pretty close to colour here. It's a bit of a way up from 60 metres. What have we got? Oh. No way. Oh. Oh my. I've got two tuskies. Were they pa parrots? They're Venus, aren't they? Nah. the real tasty ones? I don't know. I've got two. One on each hook. Holy, Look. that other one. Very Look at good. that. <laughs> oh my god. Look at the colours on that thing. There we go. That's one of the advantages of running two hooks. Sometimes you've uh, you got a chance to hook two. Matt reckons that's a Venus. I, don't, I think it's a different type, but... Big one, no, the big one's legal. Yeah, one can so get they're that. all in the same family. Um, so they all have the same sort of size limits. So he's going to come home with us. This. this one's probably borderline. He's gone back. Under size, so we'll put him back. Ooh. Oh my God. Are you filming? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh boy. I am filming, eh? Yes, you are. Jeez, man. Woo! Did you just get eaten? Looks like it. I reckon it was a valley. <laughs> what a cool fish, hey. <laughs> the old shark. <laughs> what a cool guy. <laughs> what a man. So fun at parties. Yeah. If you've never done any slow pitch jigging or even any jigging in general, you, you need to give it a try one day. It's one of it's one of my favorite fishing techniques and it can be so effective and you can catch so many different types of fish on it. If you're looking to give it a go, you kind of want to get an idea of what water depth you're fishing and what jig you're going to need for that water depth. So basically, um, obviously it depends on the run, depends on the area, that kind of thing, but basically start from anywhere from one gram per meter up to like three grams per meter if you if you work off that you'll be pretty sweet for the most part so say 10 meters one gram per meter would be 10 grams 
up to 30 grams. And then basically once you've worked out that kind of thing, all you need to do is get a rod that is gonna match that jig weight. So today we're fishing 60 meters and we've got fairly big tides for this area being like a day out from the full moon. So 60 meters, I've got a 120 gram jig on and that's working really nicely. And then for my rod, it's a P2 to 4 and it's, you know, recommended jig weights 40 grams to 200. Uh, that covers pretty much everything really in this area. So that's why I went with that and just get a reel to match and obviously match the line intended for the rod. It's a P2 to 4 rod, so I've got P3 line. So it's all matching. You're going to work your jigs properly. But yeah, we're going to move spots now anyway, hit up a different mark and see what else we can catch. All right, we've just made a move to another one of Matt's marks. Somewhere a little bit different. Now, one thing you can do when you're jigging, because these jigs like flutter on the fall, is you can hold a bit of tension on your spool and that'll make the jig go vertical and sink down faster when you need to get down, either in a bit of current or you just want to get down to the bottom quicker. No way. Saw that. Did you see what I was that doing? Was gang stuff. <laughs> that is amazing. I'm literally holding the butt of the rod with my other hand. I was just jiggling it on the spot and got absolutely walloped. I was just mixing it up at the end of the end of the drift, <laughs> trying to do something weird. <laughs> and that's a solid fish. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> Literally just sunk it down to the bottom and was just doing that in the bottom like meter of water. <laughs> so far up. Holy. Used to fishing for bar in three meters of water. <laughs> Settle down, Bowles. Just get him in the boat. <laughs> Get it sharp. Don't say that. Still fighting. It's so heavy, man. I know. Yeah, I was way out the end. I was just about to wind it up after that. Got colour. Floating up there. Oh. Oh. oh, is that? It's, it's not, is it? It is. Oh it's my big, god. That's a big one. <laughs> Bring him down this side. No way. Bring him down here. Hey. Oh. You got him? <laughs> there is no way that just happened. <laughs> oh my god. That's me first ever, like first legal red. Well, it's legal, mate. <laughs> Look, we're just 80 centimeters, or 10 just under. kilos. <sighs> Woo! Bowley! Oh my god. On the technique, too. I feel like the man after that, eh? <laughs> Well, yeah. there we go. That is pretty much the pinnacle of slow pitch digging in North Queensland. It does not get any better for that. That is my first ever legal <laughs> red emperor, and it's a bloody tank. 120 gram jig in 60 meters of water. Big thanks to Matthew. He's put us on the mark. This is this is his fish more than anything, but. Whatever, you saw that technique you had, I was looking at you going, oh, he's trying the wiggle, but... but. <laughs> but I was, what I was going to say is I was mixing it up, doing some, getting real freaky with the jig, 
Now there's all the um, typical, you know, slow pitch techniques and all the jigging techniques. Sometimes you just got to do a little bit of weird stuff and you can get rewarded with epic fish like this, man. Oh, feels bloody good. Had a few minute, minutes to myself there. Let Matt have a drift. Let Matt catch a fish. Let Matt catch a fish while I was soaking it in. But we just set up another drift, going back through, see what happens. Yep. Ooh. Many head rattles. What have we got? Got colour. Another one. Another little tusky. Yeah, I don't know the exact name of this species. I'm sure someone will tell me at home, but um, we'll let him go. See ya. Must have the bottom. No, that was the fish. No! Kidding me. Get it back to him, Bowles. You mark this one, Bowles. Haven't fished it yet. Okay. On the bottom. Oh, it's equal cup. No way. <laughs> Ooh! Oh. <laughs> He's pulling back. <laughs> Hook up! <laughs> hook up! <laughs> this is either a nanny or a red, so if it gets sharp, drives lose it. <laughs> Sorry for the swear words. Oh, stunning! Absolutely stunning, Matthew. Alright, Matt's just giving me the heads up. He's just spotted a shark on the sounder just above these fish, so it's going to be pretty hard going to get one past, but. Worry about getting a bite first, then we'll um, have to go pretty hard to try and beat the man in the grey suit down there. Oh, yep. Come on! Ah! Ah! I think he's gone already. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Shark's got him. Wow, man. Oh, I had about, whoa, almost had 10 seconds. Well, that's very rude, isn't it? Nothing I could have done. Literally nothing. All right, it's gotten a little bit quiet for the boys. Well, for me in particular. But right, we just found a really good show of fish on the sounder. So we're gonna do another drift through them. Hopefully big hookups, big, big. Nice. I definitely got all my nibs out of the way early. Yeah, <laughs> you really peaked early, Bolt. I'm in nuns. Stop hitting it. Oh. Oh. I just kept getting peck, peck, peck. <laughs> Holy! Finally! Stop hitting it and eat it! You coward! <laughs> oh, oh no! no give it oh. back. I was going to say give it back to me, you don't need to! There's another one! <laughs> no way! Ooh. That real big? Yeah. Yeah. Still pulling drag, man. Big belly. Oh, 
potential. I don't know what this thing is. That's the excitement. That's jigging. That's jigging, 60 oh, I meters. I love jigging. I love jigging. Color. Oh, why is it fighting now? Maybe, valley, eh? maybe it is a valley. Maybe I've hooked him funny. Nice big valley, man. Whew. Wow. Alright, there we go. I'm pretty sure that's a gold spot trevally. Yeah, just goes to show the variety of fish you can catch out here. Oh, they bloody pull hard, man. And we've got an hour and a quarter or something, hour and 20 minute run home. Beautiful. Good as gold.